Pop Goes Garden Taker is a crossover between Helltaker and Pop Goes, originally released in October 2021 as an exclusive game for Kane Carter's BMC community. It's a super short puzzle game where you play as Pop Goes and just like in Helltaker, your goal is to swoon over the ladies. We've been planning to share this with the grander community for a while, and seeing as Pop Goes' 6th anniversary just passed, and Arcade is releasing on Steam quite soon, we figured it was the perfect time to do so. So, I've decided to make a video showing the process of this game being made. Firstly, let me introduce you to the team behind this game. First, there is of course myself. I acted as the game's programmer and co-director. My good friend Multi designed the levels, wrote dialogue, and acted as the other co-director for this game. Ellie, also known as Stupid Butterfly, drew up the dialogue sprites and end screen, and the music for the game was made by Stu Avenue. So yeah, that's the team. Kane himself wasn't directly involved with the development of this game, though he did get to see how the game was progressing and whatnot. With the team introduced, let's go over the actual development of this game, from its concept to its release. Back around September 2021, I was approached by Multi, basically asking if I wanted to work on a short joke type game which would be a crossover between Helltaker and Popgoes. I immediately jumped on board because it was a unique idea, and soon after we had a proper team with the four people I mentioned before. So, since my task was mainly handling the programming side of this game, I'll delve into a bit more detail as to how this game was made. Firstly, I basically recreated the basic mechanics of Helltaker. So the first thing I did was create the grid-based movement system. Nothing too difficult here, and afterwards I began implementing other game mechanics such as pushable blocks and solid walls. Then, after all of that, I basically had to make the second half of the game, which was the dialogue system. For those who don't know, the first half of Helltaker involves solving a puzzle, then the second half basically is more akin to a dating simulator, where you basically have to choose the right dialogue option. And here's what it looked like early on. Then after this, I actually handed the game's source code over to Multi, who actually worked on creating levels. Basically, this beta version of the game almost acted like Mario Maker. It had all the code and logic set up to basically make the game, so it was super simple for Multi to click and drag things around to make levels. Once the levels were made, he basically sent it over to me to polish and finalize. While that was happening, in the background, Ellie was basically creating all of the dialogue sprites for the game. Luckily, a lot of expressions can be shown simply by changing the faces of the character, so that was really nice. I also went ahead and updated the game's dialogue with what multi made, and basically, the main levels were complete. The last final aspect of the game we wanted to add was basically a boss battle against Black Rabbit, and we basically came up with this rough sketch, an idea. Essentially, there would be four pillars, each with their own health bar, and you'd have to destroy all four of them powering Black Rabbit to win. Super simple, but there would also be a bunch of random attacks flying around the screen. After beating Black Rabbit, you'd basically be taken to a pretty sick looking end screen, and after, the credits would roll. So yeah, that was basically Pop Goes Garden Taker in a nutshell. If you want to play this game for yourselves, there is of course a link in the description to the game's itch.io page and game jewel page. Go check it out and let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe, and if you have any interest in any of my other games, be sure to check those out as well. As always, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.